Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty figured I'd give you an update. Uh, we've had the rain throughout the day for us today. Of course, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that little bell. You'll get notifications. All right, rain started to roll in mid-morning. We had a couple periods that we got some uh, thunderstorms, some stronger little storms early this afternoon right through northeastern Oklahoma into extreme southwestern parts of Missouri, but nothing too strong and nothing severe, of course, but some decent amounts of rain and this has been a widespread moderate to heavy event which we really need to help kind of put a little bit of a dent into uh the drought of course we are kind of on the about the worst sector of the drought that we can possibly see all right let's uh do some radar tracking right now uh, you can see this band kind of pushing off toward the east the heaviest now Pushing into southwestern Missouri, it's uh, starting to lighten up just a little bit. Southeastern Kansas, also northeastern parts of Oklahoma. Uh, but where you see the yellows and a little bit of orange, that's where we are seeing the heaviest rain. Really right along the I-49 corridor from Nevada into the metro back toward Miami Grand Lake. And then heading south into northwestern parts of Arkansas. Let's go ahead and zoom in. So we are looking Nevada to Lamar. Also another heavier little band over towards Springfield. And then south along 65 toward Branson. A little bit lighter from Greenfield, Mount Vernon, Monette, Aurora, Cassville. And then, of course, it picks up uh, just to the west of Lamar, right along the I-49 corridor, Carthage, through Joplin, Neosho, and then down toward Anderson and Pineville, and then also northwestern Arkansas. Uh, it, in Benton County, it'll start to pick up just a bit. Let's go a little bit farther west. So here's an Oklahoma Grand Lake. Up toward Afton and Miami, you're kind of on the back side of the heavier rain. In Kansas, Cherokee County still getting some moderate rain. Then once you get up toward Pittsburgh and Fort Scott, it lightens up quite a bit. And then once you get out toward Erie, Parsons, Independence, Coffeyville, uh, just some very light little showers and sprinkles. And then much of the same northeastern Oklahoma as you get uh, back toward Tulsa. So it is starting to lighten up just a little bit as this first band works through. Already, though, rainfall amounts pretty good on average most of us have picked up over an inch some areas two inches of rain which is something we greatly need through the evening hours we kind of hold steady into the 50s showers the next couple hours a little bit of a break and then rain's going to build back in late tonight of course we're looking at seventh and range line it's wet but if we look at this storm system stretches from minnesota all the way down toward texas covering a lot of real estate and then you got the upper level low look at the batch of showers even a few thunderstorms back through the panhandles of oklahoma and texas you can see the twist in it as it kind of leans back toward the left but that's the upper level low and that's going to slide on top of us and just south of us as we go through the daytime hours tomorrow and that's going to give us more rain especially the southern half of the viewing area as we go into Tuesday morning and this storm system looks like it should return in the pattern around somewhere in the second week of December which could be interesting because if we have more cold air in place that could be a winter event all right let's go through time 9 p.m. most of us drying out just some light little sprinkles random light shower let's move to about midnight one o'clock in the morning Light rain starts to spread back in, especially along the I-44 corridor. Let's move to about 5 a.m. Periods of showers, even a few random thunderstorms in our southern counties. Uh, the heaviest rain is going to be along and south of I-44. As we continue into the morning hours, let's go to about 9 a.m. Periods of rain, extreme southeastern Kansas, northeastern Oklahoma, and most of southwestern Missouri. This little back wave is not going to affect you guys in Yates Center, Chanute, Fredonia, Sedan, Independence very much. You'll get a few light showers, but the heaviest rain will stay to the south. As we continue into the early afternoon, most of the rain on the Missouri side, sunshine popping out in our western counties. As we get into late afternoon, most of us will pop out with sunshine, but look at the temps. We're only sitting into the mid-50s for highs. Clearing out tomorrow night. We drop back upper 30s, so kind of chilly. And then as we go into Wednesday afternoon, partly sunny skies, it looks pretty good, warming up back into the mid 60s for highs. All right, rain chances, you can see them increasing again after midnight for us tonight. An additional rainfall is going to be the heaviest along and south 
of I-44 and then the heaviest continuing off toward the east once you get over towards Springfield and Branson where they haven't picked up as much rain as we have seen throughout the daytime hours. Northwestern counties, not much, maybe a tenth, maybe uh, two tenths of an inch, but it really picks up once you get along that I-44 corridor. 49 at 7, we actually drop back with the showers in the morning, 48 by noon, and then with some sunshine, we pop up into the mid-50s by tomorrow afternoon. Wednesday looks good, 64, 66 on Thursday. We do have a system Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's weaker. It's mainly across the southern plains. That's where most of the rain is going to be. We're kind of on the very northern edge, so we're at least going to put slight chances in for showers as we head into the weekend, but uh, it does not look like a huge deal right now. Halloween looks great, 66, partly sunny. We jump into the 70s, the middle of next week. A much stronger storm system will affect us next Thursday and Friday that we want to keep our eyes on. But at least we got rain chances in the forecast, something we haven't had a ton of over the past uh, really couple months. I hope you guys have a great evening. I'll give you another update in the morning and stay dry.